Hello and welcome to Mickey Collects Pokey where I talk about anything and everything Pokemon TCG. In this video, we are exploring a deck using my favorite V Union Pokemon, and that is Mewtwo V Union. Okay, so let's see what Mewtwo V Union does. We start off with, um, for some reason, the Crotch. Okay, so um, Photon Barrier prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. So it cannot be poisoned, it cannot be paralyzed, burned, or confused. Uh, it cannot be pushed back to the bench and I think you cannot boss it up I'm not sure no it can, it can be bossed up it cannot be as long as it's a, an effect by attack from your opponent's Pokemon it won't affect Mewtwo V Union and 3 Psychic Energy 1 Colors Energy Final Burn does 300 damage so this will KO all Vs and some um, V Maxes like Jolteon so, doesn't kill everyone, but 300, 300 damage is quite a lot. So, next up we have um, Super Regeneration. So, that's 2 Psychic, 1 Colorless, heal 200 damage from this Pokemon. So, to be honest, um, from the games that I practiced earlier, I haven't used this yet. Uh, I don't see myself using it much, but some scenarios might come up. Okay, next up we have Psy Explosion. 2 Psychic Energy, 1 Colorless Energy Put 16 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you want So this is especially useful to um, KO some of the Pokemon that has already been damaged And of course to wipe out the support Pokemon like Drizzle, um, Sobo and maybe even Intellion Okay, so Minchino, Chinchino all get destroyed by this attack and of course the last attack uh, Union Gain 1 Colors Energy you can attach uh, up to 2 Second Energy from your discard pile to Mewtwo V Union okay and also and of course an explanation on how V Union works um, all four pieces have to be inside your discard pile before you can summon it onto your bench so two criteria one of course you must have bench space for one and number two, all four of these cards must be inside of this card pile. So in order for us to reach that, um, we have the Larian Articuno, which is very useful in discarding cards. You can discard two cards to draw one card. And yep. And of course, before we get our V units up, we have our uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max as our main attacker. So with its wonderful ability. To attach uh, Psychic Energy onto a Pokemon inside your bench and then draw two cards. Okay, so we run a 4 4 Shadow Rider Calyrex line and we have a 1 1 uh, Alcremy V and V Max line. Uh, we could have added more uh, if we wanted to, but I didn't want because we want to focus on the V Union. If, if you guys feel that you want more of Alcremy V Max, you can find the space and do it. Okay, Crobat for more draw power. Cressilia, if we go second, we will try to look for this. So it has a wonderful attack. So if you start second, one Psychic Energy attached to it, you can look for three Psychic Energies and attach to a Pokemon on your bench. So because Alcremy does discard a lot of Psychic Energy, we will need Energy Recycle to shuffle them back to the deck. And an energy retrieval always helps as well as training cord. Okay, so training cord allows us to put a psychic energy from our discard pile back to our hand. And with Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max, um, that means you draw another two cards. Okay, so um, the rest is quite standard trainer cards for your Shadow Rider Calyrex decks. Three evolution in sense. Um, three four crystals. Uh, some might want to play four. I find it a bit too excessive because you are only playing one alchemy. V. Okay, so four quick balls. Quick balls is very very useful. One to discard your V Union pieces and secondly to look for Shadow Rider Calyrex. And of course we have two switches, um, three bosses, three monies. Um, three researchers, two air balloons, 
And we have familiar bell because this is very useful in V Union decks. If you have at least one V Union part inside your discard pile, you can use familiar bell to search your deck for another piece and then you can grip ball or Galarian Articuno it away. And Professor Burnett is also a new card introduced together with V Union cards. Allows you to search your deck for up to two cards and discard them. And in this deck, it has another use where you can search for Psychic Energy to discard it and then use Training Court to bring it up to your hand and then use Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX to um, attach and then draw another two cards. So this helps in making your deck more consistent because you are adding more draw power. Okay, so 12 Psychic Energies to round up the deck. Let's head to the gameplay. Alright, first game and we are going first. We have a pretty good start. Okay, so let's start with the Shadow Rider and the Alcremie V on the bench. Okay, we have the energy as well, so we are set up for the first turn. And we are up against probably a Zacian deck. So we have to be careful of the Zamazenta. So we will need the V Union for the Zamazenta, obviously. Uh, yeah. So that's the energy. So next turn we can research everything away. We can evolve both, research everything, including one of the V Union cards. And hope we get at least a VMAX Shadow Rider uh, We have the VMAX, we hope for more Shadow Rider Calyrex Vs So Quick Ball Oranguru So if they have a Steel Energy, they could be having Oh, we get money, that's not good so the strategy with Zacian V Oranguru is if you have a uh, steel energy in your hand, uh, although they use rot or, or you use a rotom foam to get a steel energy in the first cut, then then you draw, and then you can uh, you, you, when you intrepid sword it will be attached to your Zacian V. So the question. Why would they Rotom Foam and then Quick Ball? So I guess that's a mistake on them. Uh, training Code? Let's scroll back then we decide whether to money or to research. Research it is. So we'll quick ball this away. Get one more Shadow Rider Calyrex. Uh, do we want to? Do we want to fill the bench up? No, we don't. So let's research. Okay, that's good. So we will do this. And uh, not the best, but we will make do. Uh, let's give them the Cobat. Yep. If they want any of those, they have to boss it up. So we will feed the Crobat to the Zation V. Not the best to give them two prizes first, but we can make do. If they want one of the Calyrexes, they have to boss it up. Two Scrapper. That's fine. They don't have much to dig for in terms of getting the boss, so uh, let's. Yep, that's not the boss. Okay, that's good for us. 
So the counter-attack. Unless one of them is a switch. They need a switch or a balloon in order for them to attack next turn. They need two in, fit, in fact. So this will come here. Uh, let's get our creamy VMAX also, why not? Tins the deck out as well. Research. No energy, oh my god. That is not good. Uh, a switch is useful, so we are not going to do... Okay, at least that gave me a, a shock. Okay, we have one energy, draw one more. Oh, no, we, that stops, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 160, we, two, we have to 2 hit KO a Zacian anyway. So they need a switch, they need 2 switches, or a switch and a balloon. Is that possible in a 4 card hand? I don't think so. So they have to Intrepid Sword. Which is why we gave them the Crobat, right? And we are two pieces down in terms of V unions. So their play is to Intrepid Sword and then we decide whether we want to money or not. A switch. They money us, okay. So they are hoping for a balloon. I hope they don't have... Oh, they do have the balloon. Wow. So that's 230. Okay. That's good play on them. But... Bad news for them. So we have a money we could use uh, let's get the V union up first shall we we could attach to them uh, yep let's attach first ooh we only have four three energy cards left after this uh, I guess we take the risk Okay, the risk paid off, so that's great. Okay, so let's load up on the V Union. We will KO the, the Zastian V. And next turn they will KO us as well, so... Uh, nothing much we can do already. So we have 12 energies, uh, I'm thinking one more is inside the deck, 3, 6, 8, 9, 3, 6, 8, 1, 9, two. so we have 3 energies inside the prizes, wow. At least we hope to get at least one of them. Yep, there we go. Familiar Bell, it's useless at this point. So, an energy gives them the KO. There it is, but we can KO them the next turn, so... We 
we should be winning this. Yep, that's their play. Uh, they'll get three prizes, but take a look at the bench. Everything is worth at least two prizes. So we are forcing them to a seven prize game. I'm guessing they don't, they shouldn't have the boss. Let's hope they don't have the boss. Okay, that's not ideal, but we could live with that. Yep, they get the KO, the three prizes. But guess what's coming next for you? So, um, do we want to attach? Yeah, why not? Let's see if we get a stadium. No. So, 300 damage, final burn, KOs, Zacian, Zamazenta, all these actually. So, we should be good unless they find like three metal sources. Even even though that happens, they the max they do is one thirty. And how many metal sources do they have? They played two, so probably two more. Two more. If they get so lucky, they get the Zacian and two. Zacian, two energy, two metal sources and one energy. That's four cards. And they still have a boss. So, uh, unless they have the perfect 10, we should get the win. No money, please. Okay, no money, so we win. So, out comes the V Union again. We boss the Zama Center out, and we go for another final burn so that's the KO yup so V Union it's it's great against Zacian Zamuzenta because that attack case KOs them um, every turn just one hit KO one hit KO so yep that's what well, that was the Zacian Zamuzenta gameplay next game all right next game we are going second we start off with a Calyrex hand, which is not too bad. We have a VMAX on the hand. So what would be great is a switch. Yeah, just a switch of a balloon because, because we have, we can find our Cresselia to set up our Shadow Rider Calyrex. So they are lagging, so let's wait a bit for them. Okay. So let's see what we are up against. From the deck box, deck box it seems like a psychic deck, but no, nope, it's uh, yep, it's uh, okay, it's a Malama deck. Uh, we are not great against them, to be honest, especially when they are starting first. Uh, let's see what we can do. We could Crobat, so let's take away the Burnett, regrettably. Uh, we are hoping to get a balloon or a switch from this tree. Yep, switch it is. Awesome. Um, yep. We don't need. We we won't be. We don't want to research, of course. One, two, three. Let's take a look at the deck. One, two, three, four. Four V unions inside. So this V union will be really crucial in this game. Uh, we regrettably threw away the banette, but we have to make do, right? Eh? 
because I didn't want to I wanted to keep the research on hindsight I could have quick bought the evolution in sense away but that's fine let's see how it goes So all these single price decks are going very very fast. Um, Leon Zard, we have the Dragon one, I forgot its name. And we have Malama. So they have their 4 in case in the bench already. So which is weird because all you need to do is to KO the Octillery and the other possible Octillery of course. Uh, do we want to research? Uh, research sounds good actually. Yep, let's research. So we have this, we have this. Uh, let's bring you back since you are not dead. Just that one, and that's the one we need. So the key against Malama decks is you want to KO the support Pokemon. So that's one support Pokemon down, I guess. Yep. So without their support Pokemon, um, they don't have any cards to 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 shuffle back into the deck. So you want to target their Octillaries, their Minchinos, Chinchinos, as much as possible. So I know it's tempting to target, you know, the Malamas, but you kill one, another comes off back right up. So get their support Pokemon. Bruno gives them 7 cards Artillery Probably gives them one more Let's see whether they want to evolve it, they do they Scoop up, uh, yeah They realize they have too many cards inside So we are going for the Artillery definitely for that, let's load up. Uh, yeah, why not? One more. Uh, boss, the artillery out. You see, this way they can't get um, cuts onto their hand unless it's. They have the trainer cards on their hand. So they can't find they have they it needs to be present in their hand. They can't find it using artillery. Yeah, they have the Corina's focus. But. So they put down two Minchinos. So if you have we if we had the Mewtwo V Union now it would have been great. So, yeah. You see? So they are only doing like 80 damage. So, uh, no, we are not going to Marnie. This is what we want to do. Let's fill her up. Uh, balloon. We don't have the V Max though. We will boss one of the Minchinos out. So they need that card or the top deck to be a trainer that can draw stem card. Otherwise, they have to rely on the Chinchino. Yep.
that's the game we want them to be stuck with and we get the win so we didn't see the reunion in this game but I think um, it needs to be out there that when you face a Malama deck don't be too tempted to get rid of their Malamas get all their support Pokemon first okay so this will make it to the final video of course alright next game we are going first so let's see what hand we have uh, pretty okay two V's can't complain Ooh, we are up against a single price deck uh, Reggie Draco, yeah So, oh, okay, forgot to check whether we have all four V unions in play in the deck, I mean But that's fine So Against single price decks, you want your Mewtwo V Union to be in play as soon as possible because Mewtwo V Union can destroy single price decks. And Reggie Drago decks can get set up on the second turn, so you want to be faster than them. Although it's very hard, but you want to limit the damage they can do. So the Snorlax will be coming up next. Money will be great. Okay, so we we have our training card, so we don't need to play them. A research. A research could be good. Yep, let's research. We need the speed. Um, it's not very fast. <laughs> A VMAX would be great, but we don't have it. Mm. Okay, we have all four V Union pieces. That's good news. Uh, we priced our Crobat. That's not great. Uh, since both of us want the training card in play, I can throw the energy retrieval. Cilia, is it a good idea? Uh, not really, to be honest. Let's bring one energy back. Cilia to throw. Okay. Nothing much we can do. Shadow Mist. Not the best, but we wanted to get the VMAX ASAP, but seems like 20 cuts, 26 cuts into the deck, we still haven't found it. At least one, not even one. Oh well, it happens. Ooh, they are stuck as well. Okay, that's good, that's good. Mm. You want to boss? Uh, five damage counters. That's great. Uh, I don't want them to common dice, so... That's you out. Since they are stuck, we want that hand to be continued to be in their hand. I want that hand to be in their hand. What am I talking about? We get two prizes. So that's their this support gone. And we are lagging for some reason. Okay. More energies. We have a money, uh, but we don't want to use it. Let's see if we want to use it. Because they can't get the grass energies onto their Redry Drago. So they're gonna Gormandize again. 
Ooh, that's... They are giving us prizes at this point of time. We are... Yep. They know uh, we've just Shadow Rider Calyrex because their hand got stuck, we got lucky, so... Next game. Alright, next game we are going second. Uh, not the best of hands to be honest. We need a quick ball of sorts. We are up against a rapid strike box, so we have two chances to get... Ooh, that's a lot of chances. Okay, so we just need a switch. To get our Cressilia. Ribbon badge. Evil incense, I guess. Or a quick ball. Yep. So they will do. They are looking to do 200 plus damage on the next turn. Uh, let's be optimistic. Uh, no, the chances of us getting it from the Articuno is not big. Let's see, let's see if we do get it. Ooh, we could have pulled better. Yep. It's fine. Oh, that changes something. Okay, we are going to try. We are going to try. Cressilia, no switch. Oh, so close. But we don't give them the special energy, so they can't put rapid strike energy and attack us. Research, okay, so that includes the evil incense, okay. I thought they had the evil incense. Oh, we money them, that's right. Okay, okay. Now I get it. Evil incense. So they don't have the energy. Fantastic. So. Huh. That. Now that makes me question. Ooh. Okay, sorry, I want that energy. I want that crowbat. Uh, I think we will get at least one energy. Okay, so... Yep. I will continue doing this until they get at least one more energy on their Sylveon. Because they are dying to put their Rapid Strike energy down. And of course the Rapid Strike um, Tower of Waters. So not gonna give them the chance to put them down yet. Because next turn we have our Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max setup, and then we can talk. <laughs> or I could do ten damage, ten damage all the way. That would be quite troll. Uh, 
I could do that actually. Uh, but, you know, in a normal game, I might do that, but for the video, uh, probably not. Unless you guys want to see it. It could be a solution, you know, because they are so reliant on rapid strike energy. I could, I could just use, uh, once they attack, Shadow Mist all the way while I set up my bench using the other rapid strike. Um, uh, rapid strike. The other Shadow Rider carry Rex. Evil Incense. So the question is do I want to throw them? Let's see what we draw first, shall we? Ooh. Okay, so let's throw them. We are going to throw them. They are so reliant on Rapid Strike Energy and uh, Stadium. So we are not going to give them the chance to put that in play. Shadow Mist, there you go. We will do this until they concede or they find a way. So, if they can retreat, they will retreat. Their, their best bet is to retreat to the Rapid Strike Urshifu and, and, and do 150 damage. But before that happens, they need two at least two energies. So we are safe for now. Let's set up everything on our bench while we shadow miss them all the way. Boss, okay, they found a solution. Yup, and I don't have an answer to that. Oh, we sh okay, never mind. I was thinking I should have evolved the other one, but yep. Hey, we could continue doing this. Retreat and continue setting up our bench mm. oh creamy why not oh we could have switched but that's fine no we don't want to switch Uh, this shadow mist. I want to throw them. Oops, one, one of the lights gave out, so I need to charge the lights. Just give me a moment. Research. I need to look for my charger It should be in my other bag which I can't find it now oh, There it is Tower of Waters, they can't play it So, they are stuck You know, while we set up everything, they can't set up anything That's what we want Let's do this. Mm. Okay. Mm, we don't need this. 
so how many parts of the V unit will two of them priced? Training cord, get back the energy. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, it's two eighty. Let's two eighty plus forty. Yep, we could KO the Sylveon, but no, we want to KO that Galarian Moltres. So uh, next turn, if they have to switch. Yep, we could give them the V, it's fine. Okay, gonna charge my lights because they are going out of. You don't see any lights behind me now. They are angry. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? We will switch you out. Finally, we are ready to attack. And it's the Galera Motress that will go first. So finally, they can do whatever they wanted to do. Cool. We have both V unions. The both the V union Okay, and they concede the moment they can do anything. Okay, we are going first again. And yep, two air balloons. Um, one supporter Cresselia Okay This is a perfect um, hand for starting second but Ooh, two mulligans for them Dragapult, okay luckily we are going first then mm, Let's see, let's see to this they play path to the peak so I won't put my training card down I draw one less card but that's fine I guess we have to end It's a slow start, we want at least one more Shadow Rider Calyrex but It is what it is Give them the Cressilia. Yep. One twenty. We have one twenty. Yep. We will give them the Cressilia. Unfortunately. Dragon Ball V decks are so fast uh, and we don't have the very fastest of starts so although money will be good
Okay, we all, I could work with that. As long as they don't get crushing hammer hits, we are good. To get the first prize, we'll probably 5 damage counters on Crobat. Unless they are really hard up on getting to our VMAX. Yep, they are. Down, down, research. Ooh. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We have one more V down. plus so okay that's all we can do so how many more energies do we need we need to do them for 190 so we need six energy cuts not possible in the next turn is it one two three four yeah the next we can do is four so Three turn KO for Dragapult V Max, and they need another two turns, I guess. One thirty, one thirty, two sixty. You, no, they can get the KO next turn if they have an Italian. So they are not putting down path to the peak. Which makes me think it's okay to do this. One, two, they all fall, that's great news. Uh, let's do this first. this Ooh. Mm. research get the articuno training court so we have three more so we are not afraid Uh, I think we know. Let's get our first energy down on the Mewtwo V Union. So we have seven energies. Not enough to KO the Dragapult. But that's fine. Hmm. This would be a good idea. Keep our energies if they want. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ooh, so close! And we used up all of them. Yep, all that's left to do is to attack. We had the perfect, ooh, 8 energy dust, ooh, 6, ooh, 6 did it. Okay, so, that was the perfect turn, 6, and we managed to get 8 energies out of the 6 we needed. Okay, so that's the power of Shadow Rider Calyrex. We get what we once it once you start snowballing, it's unstoppable. So next turn we will KO that Dragapult. Uh, we don't, if it it will become a V Max definitely, so we can't KO it. Uh, three prizes. 
three prizes. Sobo is one. Yep. Oh, no chance to showcase the V Max V Union, but you know what I'll do the next turn, right? So that's the game, and I'll end the video here, I guess. All right, so that was the Mewtwo V Union with Shadow Rider Calyrex, which I think is the best partner for it. I mean, Shadow Rider Calyrex by itself is already a very good deck, but with Mewtwo V Union, it brings it up to the next level. You now have a counter against your Zamazenta Vs, Glaceon V Maxes, as well as Decidueyes. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to drop a like on this video, comment on how you might improve this deck or is there any other ways you can play Mewtwo V Union and of course subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.